Good evening. Uh, this is uh, John with assignment four from Software Dev One. Uh, this is a video for or a screencast for Aaron, Trey, and Dr. A, and anyone else who's interested. Uh, basically, I'm going to go over my use case diagram and my class diagram. Um, as far as use case diagrams go, there's supposed to be a list of every transaction or everything you can sit down and do with the system individually. So if someone was to look up a certain product, look up product would be one of the use cases. That being said, uh, based on Professor A's video, this is the use case diagram I came up with. Um, first of all, the only actor, according to Dr. A, the only actor was the program chair, as he's the only one that's going to be interacting with the system. So as far as use cases go, I have uh, add, view, and edit faculty information. And this is so you can associate a professor with a section, so you'll be adding him or her to the system. Add, view, and edit book information. Of course, it's a system for the bookstore, so being that we'll be ordering books, you would, you'll need to be able to add books to the system. Um, add, view, edit course information. This is for uh, being able to add the sections of the courses. You'll be able to add the course name, course number, descriptions, etc. View books for courses, so you'll be able to look at what book was selected for which section. You'll be able to see if that book was required, um, recommended, or just optional. Uh, that way you can keep track of what books were used, uh, things of that nature. Uh, transmit data to the bookstore. Uh, this is where you actually are able to send the information to the bookstore because that's the purpose of the system. Uh, generate reports. This is for uh, tracking trends and analytics. Prices of the books, seeing what books lasted for how long in a certain course, seeing how much the book costed the students to see if uh, prices are going up, down, etc. And associate book with course sections. So you'll be able to link whatever book is being selected for a course with that section. So that way they all the record is always together. So that's pretty much it for the course diagram. Again, there's only one actor, which is the program chair. And the program chair will be added to the system through the add faculty information use case. And it's a pretty straightforward system. It's just really uh, going to be an interface for a database of information that we're storing. So uh, moving on to the class diagram. I tried to stick with the... BCNF normal form, a BCNF normalization form for creating these entities, these classes, because normally your classes pretty much look like entities in your database, so this could pretty much be related to a database. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the standalone entities, and then I will go over the associated entities and then lookup entities. So a standalone entity is book. A book can be a book by itself. Its properties are book ID, ISBN, title, author, edition, publishing date, publisher, city published, and city, uh, and sorry, price. Course is another standalone course ID. Course number, course name, description, and credit hours. Faculty is a standalone. Faculty ID, first name, last name, email, position, department code. The department chair will be one of the entries under faculty, and they'll just have chair as their position. Uh, <clears throat> or they'll be a professor and They'll, they'll link to the department chair table. Now, for the associated entities, we have position. Position is associated to faculty. It's a, a, a dependency of faculty. Um, 
Well, actually, faculty depends on position. Um, it has department code, description, and title. Department code comes from a lookup table of department, which has department code and department name. A department chair is a associate table to faculty so that you can have a department code and a fa department faculty ID that acts as the primary key, a composite primary key for the department chair. So for it, I'm sorry, no, it doesn't. It the primary key is department code because each department can only have one department chair. So for example, if for department code CS for computer science, you would have one faculty ID in department chair in the department chair table. All right, um, you have semester and delivery method. These are lookup tables for course section so that it gets the proper semester, year, semester, season name, and delivery method. Semester, season, and delivery method type are just lookup tables so that if you want to know, um, like delivery method type, if you have online course, it's a considered a distance learning type, whereas if you have a an eighty twenty on site, it's still considered an, a hybrid type. So you, know, you have a separate lookup table for that semester season. Just so people can only select valid values, um, you would have fall, spring, and summer. And that's it. There's no winter or anything like that, and you can't add your own values. That way, they always match up with a value in the database, and it. it creates a way to keep invalid data out of your database. As far as everything, I think I covered all of the entities. So that's pretty much my uh, use case diagram and my class diagram. Um, if you have any input for me, feel free to email me, message me, and let me know any suggestions or, or what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.